Hi, I'm Dave Kosa, and this is a story about my dad. His story has ups and downs, so I hope this will warm your heart. As a young boy, my dad grew up in the Philippines as the youngest sibling in the family, or in Tagalog we call this Punso. My dad lived as the baby of the family and was always taken care of or spoiled. As he grew up and went to college, he lived carefree, spending lots of time with his friends until he became a father. And then, that's where I came in. After I was born a year later, my grandma or Lola petitioned my dad and I to America. But my mom couldn't come because the petition didn't allow her to. So it was just me, my dad, and my grandma. Uh, so we are so excited when uh, at first we heard that uh, we are coming here to America and not in my dream that I can come here because uh, as I know America is the land of promise. Many people want to come and stay here in America when your father uh, bring you with him. You're only 14 months. I start talking to my co-workers what's, what's my lifestyle in the Philippines and my co-workers said why don't you come with me? Let's try this. So I start using drugs then Later on, I depend on drugs. I cannot work without drugs. And day by day, all my salary is going to, to buy drugs. So, so what I did, I make a deal with the, with the, with the drug dealers to sell some drugs too, so I can support my, my, my addiction. Because you're still young and uh, you have, uh, you need more attention from us. And so we make an arrangement that, you because your Tata is more younger, so I work at daytime and your tata work at night time, second shift. I depend on drugs, so I keep you awake. I work 60 hours a week, sometimes 12 hours, 12 hours, 12 hours a day. And I work at night shift. Did you feel tired a lot? Uh -huh. Then later on, I'm getting paranoid. Every hole on my room it look like there's an eye watching me. So, so what I did, put some blanket on it, but still I can see a hole watching me. This is a side effect of drugs. Sometimes you don't want to see a light. You're living in the darkness. Your grandma doesn't know about it, but later on, the company chose to lay me out because I had 14 late on my record, plus one on that day, so total 15 and five absences. So, your grandma was thinking about it, how can I can pay my, my monthly payment for my car? Will I get the man, my money? What's going on? There's something, something is going on because I, I'm unemployed. How can I pay my, 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 
a monthly payment for my car. Then later on, I cannot handle it. My car been repo, been repossessed. But my, your grandma still keep helping me and then she do all the sacrifices. She pay for the, for the towing of the car, everything, the, the, the three months delayed payments. When he finally admitted that he was uh, into drugs, uh, I knew I had to help him because he couldn't help himself. And I did not know what to do at the time, but uh, I asked him to move in with me, with my family to Virginia. I brought him to church the second night that he arrived in Virginia. and. At the beginning of the uh, service, it was unusual for the uh, pastor to ask if anyone needed prayer, and I nudged on your uh, on my brother and told him, "Let's go to the front, and with the church will pray for you." So we prayed for him, and the next thing I knew. In nine days or in eight days, he got a job, and in ten days, he he was delivered from his uh, drug addiction. Going to Virginia is, you know, it's my turning point from to change my life, because I just choose my life to go back to, to my God. And since it's the East Coast, I don't have any friends, or I, don't, I mean, I don't have any contacts or the source of drugs. So, and at the same time, I feel God is calling me to come back to Him on His open arms, whatever I've done in my life. When I come back to San Diego, uh, I was so energized and I don't have any more lates, no absences. Just keep going, even seven dollars. Go ahead, take it. Minimum waves, I don't care, just keep working. Sometimes I bring my guitars during break time or lunch time. I I share my what God had done in my life, so there's a joy in my heart. I know your dad has changed his life, and uh, my arm is always ready to hug him because he is my son. Whatever family, other pa other member family say, I don't care. I'm always there to say I love, I love you because you are my son. You are a God gift for me, for us.